welcome to another video by Fitness Technology Service. I better have those close by in case I need them. Let me get my pointer here. Uh, today's video is actually going to be on, um, I'm going to change the flywheel today. Kind of mentioned in some of my other videos, this flywheel I think has a broken cable. So I figure I'm going to show you this. I just want to explain a couple things first. Um, you're going to have to remove the belt that's on the other side. I have a separate video for uh, how to remove your drive belt, flywheel belt, V-belt, kind of the same thing. Um, this is going to have to come off. I'll try and add that either into this video if I can figure out how to do that, or if my wife can. Um, or I'll add a link to it, or I'll add some kind of card or something where you can find the other video easy. I also have videos on how to completely remove all the covers to get to this point. Um, I just don't want to do every video so long and just just make it horrible for you guys to watch, all right? So the main thing about changing this flywheel is you're going to need to have a lot of slack on this cable so it comes out easy. So once again, we've got our belt off. I got another video for that. This has two nuts on it, both one on each side. Um, both are 14 millimeter or 9 16 so I'm going to hold one wrench over here, so you can see that right there. Then I'm just going to loosen this a little bit. All right, then I'm going to loosen this side a little bit and have it start to turn like that. Then you want to kind of hold the center of it so the whole thing doesn't spin around. It's also a good idea to pay attention to what clock it is facing the... Um, I don't want to get my fingers in the way, facing the actuator that pulls the magnets up and down. So just kind of pay attention to that. Um, then the next thing you want to do is, like I said, is just kind of loosen these bolts up here. You don't really need to completely remove them. As you can see, it wants to spin by itself. All right, so um, next thing we got to do is we got to get slack on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the incline up I'm sorry, the gear up into the flywheel and uh, create more slack on this and then I'm going to push it down. I'll show you real quick. So I'm going to put the resistance up. Alright, that's as high as it goes, alright? Now I'm going to uh, unplug the unit, because you want to have the unit powered off for the rest of this. So I'm going to get in your way for one second. And I'm going to unplug it. Alright, so now that we don't have any power to it, this is all kind of a manual job. So we're going to have to pull this down, because we got to take this cable out of here. So what I'm going to do on that is I'm just going to take this screwdriver, leverage it in there like this then take this screwdriver and hold it down now sometimes you can get lucky let's see if we do and this little center piece will just pop out but most times it won't and you have to poke it through like I'm going to have to poke it through from the other side and again you can get a good view of that um, and changing the flywheel. Uh, went back in, didn't it? Meany, or did it fall all the way out? Yay, it fell out. So I got lucky on that. There was the head of it right there. So I'm just going to push the whole thing through. Come on, little baby. There we go. I might have to take this tight wrap off yeah but being a little lazy ain't I come on I just need a little slack on that without taking that tie wrap off uh, it's not gonna work nope hang on one sec don't go away 
We'll put some kind of nice blurb up or something to make up for my mistake. Let's clip this off. Give me a little more slack here. And put them. All right. So next thing we got to do. So at least that shows you how not to do that. You got to put that uh, tie wrap out of there. We're just going to pull this out. And we have officially removed our flywheel. Of course, to put it back in, pretty simple. Gonna follow the opposite step. Gonna have to tighten this all down. This will have to be reattached to here, like so, and then pull back in place, like so. And I guess tie wrap it, tighten it up a little bit, pay attention to where it was before. I think it was sitting around 11 o'clock. Then you would tie wrap that back down, put that little piece in there, and you're good to go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, next video is actually going to be on, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to video or not, to be honest with you, but I might, you guys might be interested in it. I'm going to uh, disassemble this uh, flywheel completely and uh, see if I can replace this internal cable that's not working. But that's really it for the flywheel. It's pretty simple to do. When you get to it, you'll see when you look at the other videos, getting to it is <laughs> kind of a different story. you got to remove all these covers and these arms and all that stuff. But um, that's my little poke through trick. You'll see on the other side, this flywheel has little holes in it. And you're just going to push it through again to get a good view at that um, view replacing uh, soul ah, Nordic track elliptical um, V belt, and you'll get a good good view of the other side. All right, uh, I guess that's it for today. I'll see you when I have this thing apart. Thanks.